Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a nice long holiday. Today we are taking a look at the new Phase 3 update currently on the PTS or Public Test Server. Phase 3 will add the Wisconsin region to the game and along with that will be the long awaited introduction of logging for the first time in SnowRunner. In addition, there are two new vehicles which are the Boar 45318 and the International Paystar 5600 TS. But before we get into that, please take a moment to hit the like button Turn notifications on and subscribe if you're not yet a member so that you never miss a video. Doing that goes a long way in helping me grow the channel. Now let's take a look at the new trucks starting with the Boar 45318. The Boar resembles a pair of trucks produced by the Russian heavy duty truck manufacturer Tonar. It seems to take design inspiration from both the Tonar 7501 and the 7502. The hood, bumper and grill design all seem to come from the 7501 while the overall size of the truck and front fender design seems to be based on the 7502. Much like the International Paystar 5600 TS, this vehicle will be a season pass exclusive. The bore can best be described as a cross between an off-road and heavy class truck. Its large size and power allows it to rival juggernauts like the Pacific P16, more on that later, but its gearbox selection gives it great speed comparable to many off-road class vehicles. Once you upgrade the diff lock and raise the suspension, the bore makes great use of its full potential and will tear through most terrain with little effort. Tires are however limited to off-road and chain varieties and there are no mud tire options. The bore's add-on selection is also a bit limited and primarily restricts it to hauling cargo with trailers. When it comes to logging, it has a log carrier front add-on, but it does not support the log loading crane. We will cover the full list of vehicles that support the crane and the log carrier front later in this video. The Boar has a 300 liter fuel tank which is average for a truck of this size, but its overall fuel consumption is much greater than any other truck in its class, so be sure to plan your routes carefully to ensure they can maintain a steady supply of fuel. The International Paystar 5600 TS is a re-engineered twin steer variant of the International Paystar 5070. Its length is comparable to the Western Star twin steer but it's more versatile as it can be equipped with add-ons. The 5600 TS in stock form is extremely poor. However, it can be equipped with all-wheel drive and diff lock, raised suspension, and has excellent mud tire options. One of its best features is the ability to equip a variety of add-ons including a long sideboard bed or flatbed, van body, low saddle, and logging equipment that allow it to perform a variety of roles, allowing it to haul cargo and perform recovery tasks at the same time. It's also the only vehicle in the game that will allow you to equip a log loading crane and log carrier front add-on at the same time. More on this later. One drawback of the 5600 TS is the below average fuel tank size of 280 liters. Its fuel consumption is also very heavy at times due to its fuel hungry engines and heavy weight. These issues are made worse by the lack of add-ons that provide more fuel, making this vehicle a poor choice for long-range hauls with limited fuel resources. Now let's talk a little bit about the new logging process. The log carrier front add-on allows you to haul longer sized logs and oversized logs. There are two trailer types. One is for medium sized logs and the other trailer which is called trailer log pull on the PTS is for longer and oversized logs. No clue on what the final names will be of these trailers, but you get the idea. You'll be able to haul trailers with medium sized logs with most trucks, but when it comes to the log carrier front, these are the trucks that do not support the add-on. The Western Star 6900 Twin Steer, Dairy Longhorn 3194, Colob 74760 and the 74941, the Freightliner M916A1, the Pacific P16, now this one is surprising since it's a logging truck, but it's the P12 that has all of the logging functions for now. The Caterpillar 770G, but if you take a look at the 745C, it's interesting to note all of the logging functions that will be available with its cargo carrier add-on. Next we have a list of all the trucks that do not support the logging crane, but do allow for the log carrier add-on. They are the Cat 745C, the Dairy Longhorn 4520, the Dan 96320, the Boar 4538, the Voron Grad, 
the Tega 6436, the Voron AE4380, and the Tuz 15 Action. The remainder of the trucks in each class will allow you to equip either the logging crane or the log carrier add-on. This includes the Chevrolet Kodiak C70, which you can currently load up with the bigger size logs if you're in need of a much needed laugh. You'll need it as many of the roads to get to the logging areas in Wisconsin are quite challenging. That brings us to the actual logging part of the video, the process of loading up your trailers with logs. You'll need to visit logging stations which are found throughout the map. You'll need to pay attention to having the right equipment. For example, if you try to load up long size logs onto a medium sized trailer, the game won't let you know that you're using the wrong size trailer. Instead, you'll just get this message telling you the logs are uneven. This will cost you a lot of time and effort. Here we have the right trailer and add-on for long size logs. You will only need to load up three logs using the crane in order to fill up the trailer. Otherwise, this process would be really time consuming since you have to carefully position and load the logs onto the trailer. Next we have the medium sized trailer and it's the same process. You just need to load up three medium sized logs to fill up the entire trailer. I'm still in the process of testing out many of the new features. Some are still not working properly, like for example the option to delete trailers. This will be a game changer as it will reduce some of the frustration of driving your trailer back from hard to get to destinations and will definitely help reduce the amount of stranded trailers some people have on their maps. I'm going to wrap things up here but you're welcome to stay until the end if you want to see what the medium sized trailer looks like when it's filled up with logs. As you can see it's a lot of work with the crane to get the logs into the right position. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not yet a member. Turn notifications on so that you never miss a video and as always, thank you for your support. See you next time.